for a long time, I feel like we've been lied to. We've always been told this tragic story of how Justin's loving mother died during childbirth. And now we know that there's more to that story than what we were told. And I think there's still more to that story. In fact, I think it's possible that Catherine could still be out there. So, you know what my first interpretation of this memory was? Genuinely, my first thought was that Catherine somehow became one with her horse, Nemo. And I was like, no, that can't be right. But after the making of some of my previous theories, I have gotten a whole new perspective on the world of Yorick. Knowing that animals can be people in disguise, or that people can be all kinds of strange creatures, I have become very open to the possibility of Catherine kind of merging with the horse. As strange as it sounds. And you know what? As time went on and we got more information about Catherine and her past, I have managed to convince myself more and more that she is actually still alive, possibly taking the form of a horse. First of all, we were told early on that Justin's mother died giving birth to him, and that fact has never really been questioned. However, I'm here to question it. From the way she writes in her diary, it's clear that she knew she was going to die. But how could she have known that beforehand if she died during childbirth? Well, she couldn't have. It sounds like her death was just something that had to happen, that it was her destiny and that it would solve all the problems in the world. I find it strange how everyone in the game says that she died during childbirth, when clearly her death was no accident. Why would they lie about her death? Are they trying to cover up the truth? Do they even know the truth? It's so clear that she loved Thomas and Justin, and that it pained her to leave them behind. So I really don't think this was some sort of suicide either. But rather, like I said before, her destiny. She didn't want to leave them, but for some reason she had to. So what exactly happened to her? Why do I think that she could have become a horse somehow? Well, there's this. Catherine also wrote about some strange dreams in her diary, where she was exactly that. A horse. In these dreams, she felt so happy and so free, only to be disappointed when she woke up and discovered that she was, in fact, human. So genuinely, she wanted to be a horse. She felt like she should be a horse. Oh, and remember, just like us, she is believed to master the power of all four circles, including the moon circle. So her dreams could possibly even be fragments of her own future. In her last diary entry, she writes how her journey from that point on will be a spiritual one, and that she will be free with the horses that she loves. She doesn't say that she's gonna leave this world, or that it's the end for her, or anything like that. No, it sounds like she will still live on, just not as a human. She will take on a different form of life. A spirit, a horse, the nature itself. And that means a whole lot in Jorvik. If her soul is still out there somewhere, in any form, she can always return. To quote Stephen Hawking, when there is life, there is hope. Now, I know that some of you may be thinking, <laughs> Eleanor, silly, we've seen her ghost, of course she's dead. But that's the thing, we haven't, really. We have interacted with Catherine two times, yes, but both of these were memories or past moments. During the light ride, we see other moments in time where people have talked about us and our role in the Keepers of Idine. And in Catherine's last memory, it's, well, her memories. So you may wonder why she can communicate with us in that case. And my explanation for that is pretty simple. Through the power of the moon circle, she might have been able to connect with us in the future. And to add to that, because both us and Catherine are the fifth soul rider, that could strengthen the connection between her past and our present. So she's basically using the moon circle to connect with her future reincarnation. If you still don't believe me, well, I don't blame you, but think about this. If it's not true, then these are some pretty strange details to add. 
The story right now pretty much just says Catherine the Soul Rider knew she was going to die during childbirth. And by the way, did you know that she also desperately wanted to become a horse? Yeah, I definitely think there's something behind these weirdly specific details. If she was just an average loving wife with a strong bond to horses, she wouldn't have a whole main story plot revolving around her. She's special, just like us. And I'm sure that we haven't seen the end of her yet. So no, I cannot tell you what exactly happened in this memory. There is still so much we don't know about the Keepers of Aideen, or the Soul Riders, or even ourselves. We are only ever given fractions of information at a time, and there's still so much to learn. But there are some things that we do know. Catherine knew what was going to happen to her, and we haven't seen any actual proof that she's gone. She mastered the moon circle and kept having these strange dreams about life as a horse. And she also hated being human. So that's my theory. Catherine is still out there, just not as a human. I know that this theory was short and not as fleshed out as some of my previous theories, and I originally wanted to wait until there was more information and evidence. But because we have no idea if or when we'll get that information, I decided to post it as it is. I haven't really posted any theories in a while anyway, so I thought it was about time. So of course, I want to know whether or not you think this is a possibility, or what you think happened to her. Please leave those thoughts in the comment section down below. And of course, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I'll see you around! Bye!